Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're switching off the change oil icon that comes up on your dash. Must, must be like a preset message in there at 5,000 or 8,000 kilometers or miles whenever your oil change is due from the factory. Which is actually a really cool setting. Uh, I do change mine just before and this is the first time I've had a JK so I don't actually know that message came up so I was like oh no maybe I'm so low on oil and I got to change it or it's old and I tried changing my oil and it didn't go off. I thought, for the last couple of weeks it's been bugging me that I haven't been able to switch it off. I thought it might be like a series of um, little buttons you've got to push. Like most things on your, like these newer cars you've got to change. So I was like, oh my god. But it's actually super simple. So if you guys got a Jeep JK, this might work on the JLs as well. I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, but from the 2007 to 2010, um, which mine is, if you've got a newer J JK it might work on that as well. If you do and this works, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, but mine's the older one for 3.8, so it might be slightly different. I'm not 100% sure, but if it does work on yours, please let us know as well. So, super simple guys, we'll be jumping in the Jeep in a second. Um, it probably takes five seconds, if that, super simple, super fast. I love these little things that Jeep, I don't think everybody knows about, because I was trying to research, couldn't find many things on there, couldn't find many videos on it. Uh, so hopefully this helps someone out else out there like myself because I felt like a complete idiot trying to press as many buttons as possible to try and get it switched off and I probably made other things worse by the amount of buttons I actually pushed. So we've got our little helper here today at so how easy it is so let's jump in the Jeep and let's switch this change oil, oil change uh, little icon that comes up on the dash. All right, so we're in the Jeep now. We've got our little helper here. Be careful, me son. So we've got our dashboard. Normally the little icon will come up there once you turn your accessories on. So let's have a look at that. So all your lights will come on and then just down here, it'll come up. Wait for it, wait, wait, waiting. We're waiting 1,000 years later. Oil change. And the dreaded tire air light thingy. So it says oil change, and it won't go off, so every time you do start your car, that little message comes up. So, it's really simple to get that away, to stop it, to reset it. So all you gotta do is turn your car off. Now I've got a manual, so what we'll do is put that in neutral. If you've got a automatic, put it in park. Put it in park or neutral, depending on what you've got. And all you gotta do is turn on to accessories, wait for your lights to flash, then, Pump your accelerator three times. So one, two, three, and turn it off. Wait for a couple seconds and turn it back onto accessories. Waiting, 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 waiting. And it's gone. It's off. That's it. Super simple. How easy is that? Nah, you can see that it's gone off, it's all set to go. Alright, so that's pretty much it guys, really simple, simple, if you guys missed that, it's really easy. Turn your car onto accessories, that code will come up or it will change. All you got to do is pump your accelerator three times, three times and that's it. Make sure you're either in park or neutral, depending on if you're on automatic or a manual. Pump the accelerator three times, reset it, turn your car off again and turn it back on and that code will be gone. And that's it. Really super and simple and easy, straightforward. It's so easy. It was bugging me the last couple of weeks so I couldn't figure out how to do it. So if you guys got this problem as well, I hope this guys helped, I hope this video helped you guys because it really helped uh, me of saying so simple and so frustrating. Having that message come up all the time is a bit of a pain in the ass. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button um, and smash that subscribe button as well if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.